Yeah, man. Um, it's sad, man. What's that? P- officials identified the 12 people killed in the Virginia Beach. Yeah, I read that. Shooting. I read that. They said combined, they they combined, they contributed 150 years of service to the city. That's crazy. Yeah. Right? Can yeah. you imagine going to court for something that you didn't do, and then possibly losing your life? Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right, because it was a municipal building. What building was it exactly? It's, they said it was like a courthouse. Oh, it was a courthouse. So you going in there for a ticket. Yeah. And you end up getting killed by somebody with a with an attitude problem. Yeah. A disgruntled employee. Yeah. You know what I mean? like, yeah. That's crazy, man. Well, let's Just, let's let's get to that. Let's intro the show first. Yeah, man. Yeah. So we here. Welcome back. Faculty Lounge Podcast, episode podcast. 51. 51. Yeah, John Jay over here. Area 51 over here. Yeah, he is that. <laughs> nah, anonymous. Yeah, anonymous. Um, Yeah, so we talking about the the latest shooting. Yeah. I hate to say stuff like the latest shooting. Like, we're talking about the shooting that occurred over the weekend in Virginia. Yeah, Virginia Beach. Yeah, Virginia Beach at the municipal building. So, the gunman came and killed 12 people. And this dude's a city worker. So what I've been trying to figure out is uh, they haven't released his particular motivation, right? And that's what I want to know. Like, what exactly made him snap? You know, you think about the gun shit, right? But it's like, it's it's established by now. Like, the guns ain't the problem. Yeah, guns ain't killing the people. It's the disgruntled employees coming back to kill people. Or the, the bullied high school kid. Or the... It's an American problem. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to know when are we going to face facts and point the narrative in the right direction? Because the shit ain't never going to get fixed until everybody admits that the firearm is not the problem. I guess it would take for some kind of ban of firearms and people start people start running up in places stabbing people. Yeah. Because that's what's going to happen. I mean, but that's what's going on in the UK right now. It's a knife ban. Yeah. Like, it's how do we not see how nonsensical that is? Because <laughs> they already got a gun ban and they still got people who knifing each other. Like, imagine if people was getting their eyes put out from playing Spoon Pop. Are you outlawing spoons now? Because yeah, it's a health hazard? Yeah, man. Like, what about they outlawing spoons, Spoon Pop? But not the milk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get. I'm. I'm just frustrated, man. I'm tired of the the senseless violence. Yeah. And I'm tired of us dancing around the real reason why this stuff is going on. Yeah, like the girl that got shot in Austin. Yeah, I heard about that this she, morning. What you call it? She um. So my girl knew her. Uh huh. You know, she used to hang out on this block. Yeah. And um, these guys drove up from Champagne to kill the other guy that was in the car with her, and she just so happened to be parked with dude in the car in front of her her boyfriend's house. Right, with the with the child. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. I don't see I don't know I don't understand this new culture of mm-hmm. women can get it too. Mm-hmm. Like, no, women cannot get it. Yeah, we must propagate our seed to the next generation. Yeah, we have to protect our women. At all costs. Yeah. You know? Like it's like don't get me wrong. That needs to stop. Yeah, I don't want I don't want to see, you know, needless violence come to anybody, but especially the women the and the women children. The women and the children, like yeah. those are our most precious resources. Yeah. 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 I agree with that. Yeah, I mean, that needs to stop, man. That's that's yeah. not cool. That's not the new wave. You know what I'm saying? Like I was I was having a stupid masculine talk yesterday. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And I said something about something along the lines of this comes with equal rights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's equal all the way around. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see these little boys in high school now getting in fist fights right. with girls. in fist fights with girls, like, really you know disrespecting them and all of that. I know yeah. about that. And yeah. then you see a lot. This this year has been crazy with women getting shot. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's up there. It's equal. Yeah. Like, it's, many women have been getting shot in Chicago as men. True. You know? And it's it just seems like like, like this new generation up under us. They they see equal rights as everybody's human. It don't matter if you if you were born a man, but you want me to call you a woman. You're still a human being, and anybody can get it because it's equal rights. Man, I think all of that talk is just uh, making a lane for you to be a bitch. 
Yeah. Yeah. Like that's fucked up. Yeah. Uh, like man, why you wanna? Why you wanna see? And that's the thing is like, for for you to be a man and you want to have the same privileges that a woman has, that makes you a bitch. That doesn't make the woman a bitch. The that woman is a woman. That doesn't make the woman any more of a man. Right. Exactly. It just makes you a bitch. It makes you a bitch, and not in the bitch in the sense of having a pussy, but a pussy having no goddamn <laughs> sense trying to push me. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Hove. Yes, Hove did that. So Hove has bars for every situation. <laughs> Hove did that, so hopefully you wouldn't have to go through that. Already. <laughs> Already. Yep. Yep. Yeah, man. Yeah, so rest in peace to the victims, man. We'll do more reporting on the story as it develops, but as of now, you know, all we can do is wait. Uh, I was on the Kennedy. They had the flag at uh, half mast, and, uh, you know, I feel like the the Chicago, like the flag in Chicago, should always fly at half mast. It's just people are getting shot every day. Yeah, that's powerful. Senseless. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. That that'd be a cold ass t shirt. Mm -hmm. Just a Chicago flag on a post on half mast. Maybe you shouldn't have said it on camera. That's cold. I like that. Yeah. That's like. It's a powerful statement. So you're going to have to design that shirt before this episode is out <laughs> and get them printed up. That's that's a powerful statement. It is a powerful you know statement. Because it's the Chicago flag <clears throat> at half mass. Yeah. And everybody knows people dying in Chicago. Yeah, it's, it's sad because I find myself saying, oh, thank God it ain't going to be in the 90s this weekend. Thank God yeah. we're oh, still in the 60s. Thank God for the rain. Right. Thank God for the rain because it's literally saving people's lives out here. 